Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia. Today I want to talk to you about some of the issues that you're going to find and that you will find going forward. The reason is, is that Ascension has been planned to be phased in between the years 2022 to 2024, kind of in an intense manner. Now, nobody really likes intensity and everyone would like to just, you know, snap their finger and be ascended. Part of the reason that it is very hard for people is that there are issues. There are issues that are like stumbling blocks. Number one being that you have to be proactive. You have to be able to participate in your own ascension. It is not a given. It is why you're here, okay? And a lot of people struggle with that about their existential sense of themselves. Why am I here? What's the meaning of life? When you're really on the journey, you, you stop asking those questions, but there are still issues that come up. Some of them are like, hey, why is this taking so long? Or why me? You know, why was I awakened? Or why am I the one in my family who is awakened? Many times you're the lead person in your family. You are the one who is intended to start going first, start doing this proactively with others sort of following in your footsteps, particularly children. Now, the ascension is exactly that. It's to get people up. I'm going to stop saying twin flame landia and start calling it purge landia because many people are purging and purging and not knowing. And this is a part of the overall breakdowns that you see out there, mental breakdowns, system breakdowns, and wishing and praying for things is not a bad thing. However, being proactive, putting actions above words is what this is taking. You have to put some skin in the game. You have to participate in your own ascension. Now, some of this you're doing sort of blindly, like, well, I'm going to have faith that it goes. I'm going to tell you this. When you start ascending and I work with you, you start getting these structures, not just your eye structure, like how you see, like, oh, that's a blue car. You start seeing the visioning system that you can really have in an upper plane that is not pie in the sky that is the reality and you have several parts of you that are designed just to do that another one you have to ascend in order to integrate now the integration of your light body is twofold there's an upper part and there's an inner part you need the inner part to open and you need to be able to open it at will and you need to also be able to sort of tuck it in, in situations where it's not appropriate to be way out. This is a big problem that empaths have. Empaths feel things. And just because you pride yourself on being an empath doesn't mean that feeling other people's pain is any less painful for you. How would you like to be an empath and have your senses detect and tell you things and not feel the pain? That would be a good thing, right? That is a part of ascension. That is actually ascending. You're ascending away from the collective sufficiently so that all of the pains, all of the grief isn't felt by you personally. You're not taking on for others. You really shouldn't be taking on any more than what is actually your own stuff. Another thing, your light body, okay? A lot of this is synonym synonymous. If you say your light body, your subtle body, your etheric body, okay, you have a five body system. That five body system needs to get started somehow, some way. It starts with the etheric body. This is the energetic side of you. This is the side of you that helps you dream at night. This is the side of you that has helped you to astral plane what I call astral planning, which is traveling through the astral realm. That astral realm is closing down very rapidly and it's getting weird for people that continue trying to do it, particularly if they're trying with, you know, substances that may or not, may not be legal for them to do that. It's not going to work well. 
during the time of ascension from 2022 to 2024, it will be less and less supported because it's expected that more and more people get on board with being proactive about the parts of them that are designed to do this without using earthly crutches. So your light body needs you to have health and it needs you to have a high vibe. How do you get your high vibe? You're not going to get it by criticizing and being, you know, um, someone who doesn't do certain things. Just because you may not agree with what runs in your family and, you know, and you can't be in denial. Like, like in other words, when I had high blood pressure, I wanted to go into denial. When I had high cholesterol, I had literally <clears throat> done sessions for people where I could intuit it. I am an intuitive and I could intuit it. And I would suggest to them, please, can you have yourself checked for high cholesterol? It is something I'm feeling that is going on inside you. And sure enough, 100% of the time it was there. When it was my turn, because this runs in my family, this goes to the background, it goes to national origins, it goes to lifestyle, it goes to upbringing. You know, was I subject, subjected to a lot of cigarette smoke as a child and a young adult? Hell yeah. I originate from people that are um, essentially Northern Europeans, and I know what nationalities those are, but yeah, some of the food choices have been heavy. Some of my ancestors had no choice, okay? Slavic people had no choice. The best food went off to market or went to the Lord or the, you know, whoever the, the king or prince or whatever was. And my people more than likely got, you know, the dregs, got the leftover food, the unwanted foods, the awful OFFAL. That's the stuff that is like the joints, the organ meats. This is why people have developed some of this to an art form like oxtail soup or um, charnina. This was another Polish dish that was considered somewhat of a delicacy, but I'm sure it didn't start as a delicacy. Dishes like root vegetables that have been pickled so that they last all the winter. And now people are rediscovering this. I'm a total foodie. We're going to go off into foods too, because how do you get the proper nutrition? How do you get just enough? How do you do some of the intermittent fasting that's required for the integration of the higher with the inner? Your inner cannot be focused on digestion, heavy digestion. So how do you balance this so that you're doing the integration properly? I know how, and this is a part of what I teach, only a part of it because it's about one fifth of your foundation. Now, the other piece of this is staying the course and maintaining yourself. If you are maintaining, what this means is that you're capable of doing this on a day in and day out basis. Now, this doesn't mean that you swap out one life of drudgery and, you know, really boring stuff for another ascended boring life of stuff. No, it means that you're addressing your basic foundation. You're doing the things that keep both of your bodies connected and vital. Okay. You have a light body, you have a physical body. You're not really a separate being. So many people like to say, I'm a spirit having a human experience, but then they neglect the spirit side or they neglect the human side. I'm here to teach you how to balance both and enjoy both. I'm here to teach you how to be omnivorous despite what runs in your family. And I know this because I am. I know this because I've helped people in my family. And I know this because I've done 10,000 sessions with people throughout the years that I've been doing this publicly. So when you know that you're here to do this, can you stay? Can you learn how to maintain and make it fun and easy? That is what I am going to be presenting to you. Now, there's a way that I do this, and I actually use principles that are scientifically based. I use things that are scientifically based for your physiology. I am trained in that biomedical background. 
I have years of experience, but here's the main thing. Some of the principles that are in physics are actually very, very simple in nature. Electromagnetics, the oscillation effect. How would you oscillate things? You know, almost like you're kind of wiggling right into your body, like when you fit into something. Did you ever lose weight and then you want to fit into some pair of clothing, a dress or pants that you're just like, I just need to kind of squeeze my in, way in. And once I'm in, ill form fit to me. That's your light body. You have to customize some of this. Only you can. And we do talk about that. We talk about like, what do you like to eat? What does your twin flame like to eat? Are you eating for two because they're neglecting something? Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever felt like, wow, someone really has this taste for salt. It's not my normal, but I'm sure feeling it. I feel like eating all kinds of junk food, chips and popcorn and um, cheeses and, you know, or how about, how about this one? Preserved foods. Okay, like you have a taste for like pickles and aged foods, like aged cheeses, salami, pickles, um, all kinds of stuff that could be jarred or, you know, it's been aging for six months or, or more, right? Does that ever happen to you? I bet it does, but there's a significance to it. And there's a reason, and is it you or is it your other? This is one of the main things I teach is the balance between distinguishing what is you and yours, what is your others, and how do you help each other? How do you help yourself without being pulled down? Because you have to be like two mountain climbers. One of you has to start climbing to that next level. That's ascension. And it's usually the feminine, but not always. Okay. Once you stabilize, it comes a time for the next steps. And it's like that with any self-development, any kind of self-development and spiritual development. It seems like it goes in cycles, but it actually goes in a spiral upwards. It goes like this, and you might think like you level. This is why retrogrades are important, because they help you do that easily. Lunar energy helps you do it easily. Now, I am running a class, and the class is going to start uh, in December. It's going to go for six weeks. We're going to have bonus days. Please check out the link below to see the full agenda. We are going to cover a lot of stuff that is of pertinence as we end the year and you go into the new year. Let me ask you this. Is health one of your financial goals? Did you ever think about it that way? You say financial goals. Well, I'd like to be debt free. I'd like to be able to save more money. I'd like to be able to retire someday. I'd like to be able to save for that trip. What are your financial goals? If you're not getting healthy and you're not learning how your light body can streamline your health, then you're not making it part of that. And I encourage you, make it part of it because we are going to touch on it. We're going to touch on how would you budget for some of this stuff. Now, I have a very, very fair thing that I have. And, you know, I've seen what's out there and a lot of people are being lied to. Quite frankly, I'm not going to bash people, but you know, when I see stuff, it is so cringeworthy. This is your new light body is literally the cure for so many things. And yet, if you're not integrating it, if you're not addressing your ascension symptoms, if you don't even know what they mean, it's time. Okay. Roll up your sleeves, come join us, check out the link below, and we hope to see you there. I'm always available, me and my team, because I have a team of trained practitioners that we're still growing. Are you interested in learning how to do this? I would love for you to join us. So let me know. We're going to touch on some things that are very pertinent for the holidays too. Okay. The holidays are stressful times. You know, you see advertisements, but for some people it's a time of grief. It could be someone that they lost. It could be a time of binging or overeating or addictions or even someone you love who's in addictions. It's not a happy time. We're gonna do some stuff to alleviate this for you. 
So I hope to see you there. Reach out if you have questions. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.